Hello calculus students. In this problem we're going to find the uh, points on this graph with the tangent line is horizontal. Alright so um, remember that the tangent line is horizontal where its slope is zero and um, to specify that it's a tangent line we're going to call that m tan. And so um, the horizontal line looks like that okay and that's where the slope is zero. And um, now let's put that plot there. And there's the curve. And we're going to find out where these tangent lines are horizontal. And <clears throat> that um, relates to this function here by the derivative. Remember that the derivative gives the instantaneous rate of change, uh, gives the formula for the slope of the tangent line. So we're going to calculate this derivative and then set it equal to 0. So um, here's the function. We wrote it down here. We take its derivatives. That means we drop the 3 down. Multiply by 2, we get a 6. We subtract 1 from the exponent, we get a 2. 2 times 9 is 18. Subtract 1 from the exponent, we get a 1. Um, drop the 1 down, we get a minus 60. Subtract 1 from the exponent, we get x to the 0, which is 1. And the derivative of the constant is 0, so I'm not going to write it. Now, we want this formula gives us the slope of the tangent line at a point that we um, input for x. We want to know where those tangent lines are horizontal. In other words, we want to know where those tangent lines are zero. Since this gives us the slope of the tangent line, we're going to set it equal to zero. In other words, we're going to answer this question. So f prime of x equals zero means we're going to set 6x squared plus 18x minus 6 equal to zero. We're going to factor out the 6, and we're going to factor this out, because that's how we solve a quadratic. Um, we factor it. We get x plus 5 times x minus 2, set equal to 0. And then we set each of these equal to 0. And we get x plus 5 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. And then we solve that, and we get x equals minus 5, or x equals 2. So those are the two points. And if you look back at our plots, that jibes with what we have geometrically. There's 1, 2. There's where the tangent line is horizontal. There's minus 5. There's where the tangent line is horizontal. And um, we can also verify this. If we plugged in minus 5 back into the derivative again, we should get 0. That's, that, this gives us the formula for the slope. So if we plug the minus 5 back in, we get 0. And sure enough, we check that. And if we plug the 2 back into the derivative, um, we should get 0. All right, and that's at these two special points. So that, um, what you see here, um, actually what you see here is how we solve um, this problem here. That's how we find where the tangent line is horizontal. All right, good luck. Thank you.